Hello students, welcome back to Dr. Jagdish Academy. In this lecture, we will discuss another important reaction shown by aldehyde, which is known as benzoin condensation. So let's start. Benzoin condensation is a reaction which is shown by aromatic aldehyde, which don't contain alpha hydrogen atoms such as a benzaldehyde. It takes place in the presence of alcoholic casein. And the product obtained during this reaction is alpha hydroxy ketones, which is also known as benzoins. So in this reaction, we get a product benzoins. So that is why its reaction name is benzoin condensation. So what is benzoin condensation? So in this case, first of all, we'll take the two molecules of benzaldehyde, which are heated in the presence of alcoholic casein solution. So in this reaction, we get a benzoin as a product. How does it form? Actually, there is a transfer of this proton towards the oxygen. Resulting, there is a formation of single bond. And there is two of these aldehyde molecules. They are combined with the formation of carbon-carbon sigma bond. So due to transfer of proton, this ketone group or aldehyde group sorry is converted into an alcoholic group. So the compound which contain a ketone as well as alcohol. So this compound is named as a benzoin. So how does it actually take place? What is the mechanism of benzoin condensation? So it takes place in basically two steps. In the first step that CN which is obtained from KCN is negatively charged, it acts as a nucleophile. So, it's this nucleophile, they can add to the carbonyl group of first aldehyde molecule, benzaldehyde molecule. So, as we know that nucleophile negatively charged, it has tendency to attack on electron deficient center. So, in this case, as a nucleophile attack this benzaldehyde, so the pi electron between the carbon oxygen they migrate toward the oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative as compared to oxygen. So it withdraws the pi electron toward itself resulting there is a formation of negative charge on this oxygen due to migration. So due to migration this carbon acquires a positive charge and the nucleophile they attack this positively charged carbon atom. Resulting, there is a formation of carbon CN sigma bond. So, due to the migration of, due to attack of this carbonyl toward the cyanide, toward the carbonyl of aldehyde, then we get an anion. And this anion is highly unstable. So, to make it stable, there is a transfer of this proton toward the oxygen. So when there is a proton transfer, there is a transfer of proton. So when there is a proton transfer, this carbon hydrogen sigma bond, they are migrate toward the oxygen. Resulting, there is a formation of negative charge on this carbon. So this anion is known as carbonyl because negative charge is present on the carbon. So this is a stable as compared to this anion because this carb anion is stabilized by resonance. So how does it become stable? So there is a, this negative charge, they are migrate toward the, this carbon carbon single bond resulting there is a migration of pi electron toward the nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative as compared to carbon. So when the pi electron transfer toward the oxygen, this nitrogen acquired the negative charge. So to come, this carbon acquired the positive charge. So compensate the positive charge, the, this negative charge they migrate toward. There is a formation of carbon-carbon double bond. So this is a first step in which the nucleophile attack on first molecule of the aldehyde. So in this case, we get a carb anion. And this in the second step, this carbonyl they are attack on second molecule of the benzaldehyde. In second step, 
the carb anion which is produced in the first step that reacts with the second molecule of aldehyde. So in this case, again negative charge they attacks on the positively site, which is electrodeficient site. So as this carbonyl come close to this aldehyde molecule, then there is a migration of pi electron toward the oxygen, resulting oxygen acquires negative charge and carbon acquires positive charge. And this negatively charged carb anion, they are attack on this positively charged center to form the carbon carbon sigma bond. So due to this migration, this oxygen acquires a negative charge and it gives rise to an addition product which is also known as an anion. Again this anion, they are undergo proton transfer from this OH group toward the oxygen. There is a proton transfer from this is OH to oxygen resulting this oxygen acquires negative charge. So we get a, again another anion due to a presence of negative charge on the oxygen and this OH ne O negative is converted into OH group. So this anion, they are eliminated the CN negative anion, CN negative molecule to give rise to that is a benzoin product. So how does it take place? The negative charge on the oxygen, they are migrate toward CO bond, give rise to CO double bond and CN negative they are eliminated in the form of CN negative. So in, in this way, we get a benzoin as the final product. Next, what is the function of CN negative in this reaction? CN negative is a strong nucleophile. They can readily attack the carbonyl compound. The second function is CN negative is a good living group. So it is easily departed after the reactions. Thank you.